Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We're going to talk about the Weekend League sell-off, ultimate team of the season, and also just the dropping and falling prices on this market as we head out of team of the season. Weekend League, Ultimate Tots Weekend League, where everybody is sweating and playing their absolute hardest to be able to get these cards right here. In rewards next week this week in league for a lot of people has been one of the worst and one of the most stressful and just i don't know what it is with the gameplay as well the last two weekends honestly have just been awful uh whatever was in that five gigabyte patch i think has affected the game somehow um and it's it's went from uh, from you know bad really bad to even worse which is just crazy to think about but for whatever reason it has been really awful the past two weekends for league on tots an ultimate team of the season that could maybe be just because people are a lot, a lot more people are playing but i would figure that a lot of people are playing throughout the entirety of tots so whatever that is we're out of the weekend league basically or at least this is the last day of it and we need to focus on these card prices dropping because a lot of these cards dropped even more uh today look at neymar made 5.2 mil for neymar 5.1 million coins for neymar right now literally this morning, this guy was 5.6, 5.7 million coins. He has dropped 600,000 coins plus today. Same thing with Ben Yetter. Take a look at this price. Um, what is he right now? 4.8 million coins. These cards in packs, especially the ones that were very overpriced, are really starting to come down. Ben Yetter was 5.4, 5.5 million coins earlier on Saturday down to 4.8 million coins now so he's down almost 700,000 coins and that is true amongst Mbappe, Ben Yedder, and Neymar they have taken the biggest hits Ronaldo's taking a big hit as well he's down to 4.7 Lewandowski's 1.5 a lot of these cards are really starting to drop and you're gonna see them continue to drop more as we head out of the weekend league especially and as we get into the week of ultimate team of the season so again i want to look across the rest of the market as well and talk to you guys about this stuff because this is probably going to act like a normal team of the season week with the past five weeks we've had all the leagues individually and the market this week is probably going to act similar in my opinion even though we have all of these cards that are out in packs people now know which cards are now you know not going to be supplied anymore like some of these team of the season prem cards like salah a lot of you guys were talking about the sun card um and to to be completely honest with you whether you sold the card after rewards thursday whether you sold it on friday uh before the content drop or whether you sold it friday after some prices rebounded um a little bit higher than i thought they would ever get to uh regardless of, the, of that whether you you know you sold this card for 940k or you sold it for 1.05 mil which I don't even know if he even hit that price. I don't think he did. But uh, you sold at a good time because this card is 970 right now. I would not be surprised if he is back like low 900s, even below 900K at some point this week because if these cards are going to drop heavily out of this weekend league and you're going to start to see that today. Now, they're also going to rebound into next week as well, and I want to talk about that. That's why I'm really watching this squad, and we're going to talk about watching these other team of the seasons get panic sold today. A lot of people have been asking me, yo, I want to buy my end game team. I know it's team of the season. We looked at some graphs from last year and we saw that cards rose after team of the season. I expect that to happen this year too. There's still a lot of people that are on the game. A lot of people are still at home mostly. And this game has just brought a lot of new users on just because of the, um, the whole team of the season promo with quarantine and all that. Just a lot more people are on FIFA, and I think there's just going to stay people that are, you know, involved in FIFA, at least for the next couple weeks. We probably don't have much going on in the game, um, so that's just an interesting thing, thing to think about. I do think these TOTS cards will stay in rewards, in reds and in the, um, like, the Elite Plus uh, player picks for tradable uh, packs. I think they will stay in rewards, so that's something that will keep some people on the game too, but TOTS will technically... Be over but let's say you want to buy your end game team this week you want to buy that's the focus you want to buy a squad whether it contains one of these cards or whether it contains any of these other special cards or gold cards throughout the game this week for birthday like maybe a foot birthday mbappe a griezmann and alan saint maximine who has dropped a lot recently uh he is now 1.09 mil 
I think you want to be looking to buy a lot of these cards. If it's not a team of the season that is in Ultimate Tots, if you want to buy any of these, you're going to wait a little bit longer than the rest of these cards. But for a lot of the foot birthdays, I think if you don't, if you see a lot of crashing on Friday and Friday, excuse me, not Friday, Sunday into Monday. So like today, Sunday into Monday, like the usual panic sell week in league time frame. If you start to see a lot of panicking on these cards and a lot of prices dropping, like significant chunks, 10, 15, 20% possibly uh, in the next few days, that's when I would start to get interested in some of that kind of stuff. Uh, if you want to buy a team and buy some cards, because the meta, the popular, the usable cards will rebound into the next weekend as these go out of packs for good. And as people, some people are going to, not some, probably a lot of people are looking to buy their end game teams this week. So I want to kind of talk to you people that are looking to buy those end game teams. I think sometime between the Sunday night sell off and the Tuesday morning uh, low period is when you want to buy a lot of these cards. That's when I think you want to buy a lot of these. There could be potentially a little bit of panic selling when the ultimate tots guaranteed SBC would come out possibly on Wednesday. Um, but if they release a good upgrade pack on Monday that people are going to go and spam, whatever that could be on Monday, uh, tomorrow, that could also cause some more panic on the market. So that's why I'm saying sometime, I'm not sure when it's exactly going to be, but if you buy sometime between Sunday night and Tuesday, it's going to be different for all cards. That's when I think you're going to get your lowest price. Even if you buy Sunday night, it goes a little bit lower on Tuesday. Um, it's probably going to bounce up enough if you're buying a meta card that you're still going to be in the profit zone and you're still going to be happy with your purchase. And it's the end of the game too, right? If you overpay by 20,000 coins uh, on a Fakir, right? In your end game team or a De Young, does it really matter? Not really, because this is the end of the game, the last three, four months of the game. And you're just going to enjoy the rest of the game and enjoy these cards sitting in your club kind of for the rest of the year, right? But if that is something you're wanting to do um, this week, I would say Sunday night to Tuesday is kind of like your general time frame. Do I know exactly when the best time to buy your card is going to be? No, I don't know the exact best time, but it's going to be somewhere in that window. So just kind of watch prices. Keep some cards in your transfer list. This is what I always recommend. If you, there's cards that you want to buy, a lot of you guys already do this. Let's say you want to buy this Moments Rio, right? This guy's gotten a lot of hype in the past two or so weeks. He's probably going to rise decently after Ultimate Team of the Season. Um... Because a lot less packs are going to be open and people still have a decent amount of coins um, that they need to, to link together some team of the season cards with. But if you want to buy any of these cards, right? Icons, Tots cards, stuff like that. I would add them to your transfer targets and just constantly check their prices, compare the price, look at open bids, see where the bids are going. Because that tells you where the market is valuing a card. An open bid at different times of the day can tell you a lot if it's a card that you can flip which we talk about that often when we're grinding the trades hard but um just watching open bids on some of these cards that you want to buy can really start to tell you how people are valuing this card on the market sunday to tuesday if you want to snag any of these guys look for open bids seriously uh, especially if it is a high rated more rare card um an icon maybe some tots cards too Definitely look at look at open bids because sometimes, especially at this later stage of the game, there's not many people trading uh, or not as many people trading. So open bids can be really, really good because there's less competition. There's just less eyes watching those cards. So watch the open bids and constantly check the prices. Use the footpin graphs. Um, search the players that you're trying to buy for your team and get just kind of watch their price. And when you see them take an extra little dip down lower, um, than when you already think is low, right? You've seen them at this price. They take a small additional dip. Maybe that's your time to kind of go out there and pounce on that card and then buy that for your team. But again, I do think you're going to see some more selling off this weekend uh, on a lot of these cards because people uh, are finishing the weekend league, which is probably going to be a, the last weekend league for a lot of people in this game. And they're kind of finishing the year of FIFA, right? And you, you can see a lot of these cards that are getting listed up. They're undercutting. There's open bids. This is prime weekend league sell-off time. Let's look at De Young. What is this card doing? There are some cards in the market right now, as I'm recording this late Saturday night, that have rebounded since the start of the weekend, and they haven't really come down that much yet, right? Some like a De Young would be a player that I would say is a very valuable one that a lot of people want to get in their squads. You can see De Young is, you know, 
still kind of high. He was 640K, 611, rebounded to 700. He brought up 100,000 coins. He's back down to 680. But this card really hasn't dropped off a lot yet, right? I would expect more drops on these cards this weekend. And if it hasn't dropped that much yet, if it's a valuable card, and even if it's not that valuable of a card, um, you know, maybe somebody like Odegaard, who is still usable, who might still be a little bit inflated in price. This is just an example. I don't know if he's inflated or not. But if a car that you want is still a little bit inflated, give it a little bit of time. Give it a little bit of time. And I think you will see that the cards will continue to drop off today on Sunday because this is one of those weekends where everybody's going to sweat it out to the extreme, especially if they're going to elite. Um, because you can see the amount of cards that we have in tots this week that you could be getting in rewards is ridiculous. And people want it there uh, to get their best number of wins possible in the weekend league so that they can, uh, you know, possibly get themselves a one in a million chance at getting a tradable Ronaldo from that elite pack. That's kind of how I feel about it, right? How many people are going to get this card this week? Not many, but everybody thinks they are while they're playing weekend league. So they're sweating for it and trying to get their best highest amount of wins possible. So uh, just watch, honestly, just watch the sell off. If a card isn't down that much yet, uh, you can expect it to go lower. It's just kind of a timing thing. Again, you don't see as much of the sell-off on Saturday nights on some cards just because people are really trying to finish the weekend league. And then Sunday is when it gets really, really bad. Uh, whereas, you know, during most of the year, Saturday nights is actually where it starts to get kind of bad because people just stop at 14 wins all the time because it's just not worth playing the extra amount of games in FIFA sometimes during the year. So I would expect to see a lot more selling off today on the market. And we, this is when you can really start to look out for some of those cards that you might want for your end game team, uh, regardless of whatever price range that you are in. Mbappe's uh, team of the year and team of the season cards, 3.4 million coins for this one right now. He's dropped off a lot again today too. These guys really just continue to keep dropping off in price, especially the high tier ones that are in packs. Like I mentioned, the Neymar, the Ronaldo, the Mbappe, and the uh, Benyetta, it's crazy how much some of those cards are dropping off as well. Somebody asked me about icons. Are icons going to be dropping off? Yes, icons will drop off for sure too. Just weekend league sell-off, right? Um, let's look at like Del Piero. How much is Del Piero? This is somebody that I know the price of because I've watched him a little bit recently. Yeah, Del Piero was definitely down a million coins at the moment. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if this guy's like 950, 940, maybe even lower 900 at some point today too. Uh, just because of more weekly sell-off, a lot more undercutting. And people want to get those coins because there's a lot of people that are interested in upgrade packs this week. A lot of people are interested in doing those packs this week as well. So uh, a lot of people have been asking me too, can I prepare for upgrade packs that are coming this week? To be honest with you, uh, I don't know what upgrade packs EA would put out on Monday, right? This is my hope. that I have one hope or the packs that I, I would like them to put out on Monday, right? If the, this is if EA did this, this would be an absolute dub, right? And that would be sinking a lot of coins off the market and make prices even go lower, make more cards affordable for you guys and your teams, which would be a win-win situation for all of us, right? But if EA did this, uh, that'd be dope. And this is, what I'm mentioning is, if EA released all of the upgrade SBCs that came out on Monday, throughout each week of team of the season. So like during Premier League, we got the four rare Premier League players upgrade pack. It, it required Prem Golds, right? Last week for League Un, we got the five player pick for League Un requiring 11 League Un rares. If all of those packs came out for the leagues on Monday, that would be dope. If EA wants to do a masterclass content, that would be dope. I think that'd be so, so cool if they released all of the SBCs that came out on Monday, the upgrade SBCs per league, if they release all of them on Monday, because we have all of the leagues represented, of course, in Ultimate Tots, all the top five leagues. So if they did that, that would be dope because I would go hit some Prem SBCs. Uh, I'd probably hit a few Syria and a few La Ligas, right? Just to try them out again, test my luck, see who I could get, of course, right? So, and a lot of you guys would want to hit the league on the player picks, right? Because the Neymar, the Mbappe, the Ben Yedder are like, that's the upgrade SBC a lot of people want to do because you want to hit one of those three guys, right? Really, really good this year in the game. So uh, that would be incredible if EA did that. What am I actually expecting to happen? I would actually expect something of like an 82 double guaranteed, like an 82 plus, and then maybe an 80 plus player pick would seem, um, 
you know, something like what EA would do that is non-league centralized or like focused around the league. It's just an upgrade SBC that they would put out. And then, you know, based on what the their team of the season so far content schedule said, they're going to release those premium league SBCs on Thursday for 24 hours. And I think they might even do that this week with the ultimate tots as well, because in the uh, notes on the web page, it says that um, the premium upgrade SBCs will be available for 24 hours towards the conclusion of each league team of the season so far, beginning following the community tots. So I know this isn't a league community tots, but it is ultimate. So those packs could possibly come out on Thursday as well. But without looking at the weekend league sell off today, what else? Uh, can we do like let's say you're somebody who doesn't want to buy a team you're trying to make some coins or you just want to get ready for SBCs coming later in the week this week too right now is not a bad time to get ready uh, for SBCs coming the guaranteed ultimate tots SBC is going to be a big one that a lot of people want to do I think it's going to be 88 or 89 rated with either one or two team of the season so uh, if I were you guys I would start looking at some of the cheap team of the season cards maybe even like a a Munoz for 27k or you know some of these guys I don't know if they actually bump up and down in price at all if some of these tots cards do but at least the gold fodder right um Cavani is 21,000 coins how cheap has he been 22k uh yeah this is getting pretty low man so maybe try to snag some of these guys on bid a lot of these guys are still really cheap anything that is like 88 rated and below is kind of a thing that I would look at or look into with a specific range of 84 to 87. Because again, a lot of people have TOTS cards in their club. If they require a TOTS card, a lot of people can easily throw in a couple 92, 93 rated players. And all they need then to finish out an 88 rated squad would be a couple 86s, 85s, and 84s. So focus on the 84 to 80 seven range if you're going to buy some fodder which i definitely would give you the green light to do so because that ultimate tots guaranteed sbc is going to be a big one that is going to be coming out later this week so get a head start buy some of that fodder get it in your club if you want to if you plan on doing that sbc which you know it's a guaranteed tots sbc so everybody's going to want to go out and do that and get those uh cards and, and take a chance you know at packing the neymar the mbappe the messi the ronaldo and all those guys so you're going to see people go out and do those SBCs today for sure. So why not prepare for them early or not today? Um, prepare today, make profit later when the SBC actually does come out. So again, weekend league sell off. People are finishing their weekend league today on Sunday. You're going to start to see more of those prices trickle down. Um, and to be honest with you, we will see how bad it gets today. I'm really interested to see how bad it gets there's maybe a little bit of a part of me that almost thinks since we saw such a decent rise in price on Friday, a lot of people just ended up buying their end game teams on Friday. So if there's going to be more panic throughout the first few days of this week, it's going to have to come from the upgrade SBCs, from the guaranteed SBC, or some other type of content like a, a prime icon pack would really crash the market even more too. Um, and I'm, I'm almost feeling like maybe some people bought their endgame teams already last week when they saw their card didn't get into ultimate tots like um like a ramos or a veron or some of those guys who didn't get into ultimate tots that has seen a little bit of a bump up in price this weekend just due to the fact that they did not get an ultimate so people went out and bought them so i don't know how much panic selling is going to be on stuff this weekend but this is kind of a week to purchase some of those cards for your endgame team if that's something that you are interested in and going to be going for. So watch again, Sunday night into Tuesday, watch these prices, look for more panic selling and be ready to pounce when you see a low price. If it's a card that you want for your end game team, that's kind of the video today about the weekend league market crash sell off and all that sort of stuff. If you enjoyed it, smash the thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe to the channel. If you're new, it's been Nate, the foot accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.